Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Buy Time again. Stan Gravoff filling in for Martin. He's a little under the weather tonight. Today, Governor Bobby Jindal announced the dedication of $60 million in Coastal Impact Assistance Program Funds at CIAP that will enable several coastal protection and restoration projects in southeastern Louisiana. He made that announcement over at the Student Union Ballroom at Nichols State. We have about 10 minutes from that particular speech where he does this, and this is the gist of what's going to happen with this money and why it was allocated the way it was. Let's listen to what Governor Jindo had to say today over at Nichols. I want to thank everybody for coming out. And before I get to why we're here today, I want to thank several folks that have made today's announcement possible. I want to start by thanking uh, 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 Stephen. I want to thank the president of Nichols State University for hosting us. They do some tremendous research on coastal restoration. I also want to thank several folks. You're going to hear from them afterwards. I especially want to thank our parish presidents. Uh, presidents we have from Lafouche, uh, Charlotte Randolph. We have uh, from Terrebonne, Michelle Claudet. Uh, we've got from Jefferson Parish, uh, John Young, and you're going to hear from each of them. We've also got, uh, he's just a few minutes out, Craig Teferro, the president of St. Bernard Parish. He is almost here. We've got uh, Cynthia Duet from the National Audubon Society, Karen Gotro from the Nature Conservancy. Uh, we've got some of our legislators as well. We've got Representative Richard, uh, Representative Baldome. We've got Ray Herndon from the Conservation Fund, Kevin Voizan from the Terrebonne Parish Council. Uh, we have got uh, as well, I know we've got Simone as well um, from Restore Retreat, uh, and we've got several other folks as well, and I apologize if we have missed some of those. I'll ask some of our speakers to come up after me to recognize those, and obviously Garrett Graves from the Governor's Office uh, on Coastal Protection and Restoration. Let's give these folks a, a great round of applause for their tremendous work towards coastal restoration. I especially want to thank, this has been a tremendous partnership with private agencies, private environmental agencies, as well as the state government, as well as our local leaders. We're truly here today to make a very important announcement about regional collaboration towards restoring our coast. And that's why it's so important we've got so many regional leaders up here with us today. Since we took office in 2008, we've invested in an unprecedented total of more than $1.7 billion in coastal projects across our state. That represents a record investment of state dollars in combination with federal and other dollars as well. Despite this great investment, we know that the devastation done to our coastal areas and our marshes just last year during the BP oil spill continues, continues to this day. And before that, we had Hurricanes Gustav and Ike in 2008. Before that, obviously Hurricanes Katrina and Rita back in 2005. The bottom line is, despite the great progress we've made in the last few years, we must do even more to protect our people and our businesses from the threat of coastal erosion as well as hurricanes and floods, which is why we're here today. Today we're here to announce six coastal protection and restoration projects aimed at rehabilitating our damaged coast and turning back the clock on land erosion. The funding the projects for the projects we're announcing today is from the Coastal Impact Assistance Program, provides funding to oil producing states like Louisiana, whose coastal areas support oil and gas production on the Outer Continental Shelf. Louisiana is set to receive a total of $496 million from SEAP from this program for coastal restoration work. 35% of those dollars go directly to the 19 coastal parishes, another 65% goes to the states. In, in our state, we already have in, in, our, in our state, we already have many SEAP projects underway, yet we know some of these projects have run into substantial delays with the Army Corps, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We know we don't have the time to wait for years and years of paperwork, red tape, and studies. And that is why we're here today to announce six projects totaling $60 million to help restore our coast in southeast Louisiana. And let me share with you. Let me share with you these six projects and why they are so important for our entire region. First, we're going to commit $26.5 million to the Living Shorelines and Shoreline Stabilization Demonstration Project. With this project, up to 21 miles of bioengineered oyster reef will be installed in the coastal fringe marsh of St. Bernard Parish from Eli Point to the, the mouth of Bayou Lalalucha, extending along, around the southern shore of Treasure Bay. Two and a half million dollars of the total funding will be used for shoreline protection in Jefferson and Plaquemines parishes. This project will help to mitigate wind wave induced shoreline erosion while providing additional fishery habitat as well. The second project we're announcing today is another $20 million for the Mississippi River water reintroduction into Bayou Lafourche. 
Bayou Lafourche was cut off from the flow of the river in 1903. It was only partially reconnected back in the 1950s with the installation of a siphon station. We have previously committed $24 million to this project along with another $3 million in CDBG funds to refurbish the water pump in the bayou after tens of thousands of homes and businesses were subject to a boil advisory back in 2008 because of Hurricane Gustav. This project will help to restore this outlet of the Mississippi River by dredging the bayou and increasing the flow of water down Bayou Lafourche to prevent the stagnant conditions we saw as recently as 2008. This project will help direct additional fresh water to marshes located further south in Lafourche and Terrebonne parishes. The third project, $5 million for the Mississippi River Delta Management Strategic Planning. This funding will support the evaluation of best practices for freshwater and sediment resources in the lower Mississippi River, from the old river control structure to the head of passes. You, the river must be managed for navigation, flood control, and restoration. You may recall if you look at the NASA satellite photos from the 2011 water flooding challenges, they showed an extraordinary amount of sediment that was being wasted in the Gulf instead of building land and restoring our coast. Fundamental changes are needed in the management of the river to ensure that we maintain our status as the top maritime state, to ensure that our citizens are protected, to ensure that our coast is restored. Through this evaluation, we want to increase the land building capability of the river sediments while maintaining deep draft navigation of the river. But I want to be clear, this tool will be used to guide future decisions rather than serving as an impediment to projects that Congress has already authorized for construction and already set to go. The fourth project, $4 million for the Coastal Forest Conservation Initiative. We previously committed another $16.2 million towards this initiative. The Coastal Forest Conservation Initiative includes acquiring land rights on coastal forest tracts from willing landowners to facilitate forest sustainability. It will also support wetland assimilation projects that help to sustain coastal forests, which act as an important natural barrier against hurricanes. The fifth project, $3.3 million for the Falgu Canal Freshwater Enhancement. This project is part of the Merganza system. It will help to ensure that the Merganza to the Gulf project protects the citizens of Terrebonne and Lafourche parishes while allowing for fresh water to continue to nourish the wetlands. Specifically, the project will include the addition of water control structures to prevent storm surge backflow. These structures will be constructed through the proposed levee on the south side of Falgu Canal Road in order to allow fresh water to flow unimpeded by the levee. The sixth and final project, $750,000 the Atchafalaya Long Distance Sediment Pipeline. As you know, the Barataria Terrebonne Basin is sediment starved. This project, along with the Bayou Lafourche project, will help to get sediment and fresh water back into these areas. Specifically, the project will support the design of a long distance sediment pipeline for moving sediment dredge from the port of Morgan City's channel maintenance program into the sediment deficient marshes of central and eastern Terrebonne. This project will also prioritize sites for creating and restoring marshland. You know, in addition to the Mississippi River Delta Management Strategic Planning, along with this study, this shows, this shows for years we've been, we've been pushing the federal government to use beneficial, to make beneficial use of the sediments that they dredge for navigational purposes. We're no longer just waiting for the federal government, we're moving ahead on our own. This builds on some previous work we've done to benefit Plaquemines Parish. When you look at some of the other projects we're announcing today, for example, the reintroduction of more fresh water into Bayou Lafourche, these are projects that, again, will benefit not only coastal restoration efforts, but will help to improve the quality of life for our people, in this case, by helping with drinking water. The bottom line is these six projects, these $60 million, the $26.5 million for our living shoreline, shoreline stabilization effort, $20 million for the Mississippi River water reintroduction of the Bayou Lafourche, $5 million for the Mississippi River Delta Management, $4 million for the Coastal Forest Conservation Initiative, $3.3 million for the Freshwater Enhancement, and finally $750,000 to help bring sediment from the Chafalai to the, 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 the Barataria Terrebonne Basin. All of these projects together represent another significant step forward for Louisiana to help restore our coast, protect our people, protect our property. And again, we're not willing to wait for the federal government. We're not willing to wait for the red tape or the studies. We know time is not on our side. We've got to act today. After four hurricanes and the BP oil spill in the last few years, it is imperative we do everything we can to restore our coast and get to work on hurricane protection projects that will lessen the impact of future storms. Now, the next steps, the U.S. Department of Interior requires a 30-day comment period. We will go through that 30-day comment period. But the bottom line is these six projects represent more critical progress for restoring our coast.
But we know, especially during hurricane season, right now we've got even more work to do. This builds on the $1.7 billion we've already invested, another significant step forward. But we've got a lot more work to do to protect our people, protect our coast. What today's announcement shows, we're not going to let red tape or studies stand in our way. We're going to continue to do everything we can to protect Louisiana's coast. Very good. Governor Bobby Jindal today at Nickel State University, $60 million for six projects. All these projects obviously are going to help our coastal restoration here in Terrebonne Parish and Lafourche Parish. The ones that basically really shine a light on our area would be the one with the Mississippi uh, River water reduction in Bayou Lafourche. What they're going to do is, is they're going to go in and dredge. $20 million was earmarked for this and it's going to bring in fresh water and it's going to kind of rejuvenate that area. Again, he mentioned that the Mississippi River at one time came through there and then in 1903, I think it was, it was shut off, kind of came back in 1950 where there was an outlet that went into Bayou Lafourche. But with this dredging, it's going to help that area a whole lot. And of course, in Terrebonne Parish, along with Lafourche Parish, the Falgu Canal Freshwater Enhancement, that's $3.3 million that's going to be earmarked to that. It is going to stop storm surge backflow. So that's going to help us out a whole lot. And again, all of these, all six of these projects certainly will help restoration. And I mentioned earlier, and he said it at the top of his speech. Obviously, a lot of parish presidents that are along the coast were there. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to get the reaction from Charlotte Randolph from Lafouche Parish and Michelle Claudet from Terrebonne Parish, what they had to say about this, how it's going to benefit our area. We'll do that when we get back from this message. 